So we've said a lot about light. But it turns out that light's actually only one of the waves in the same spectrum, the electromagnetic spectrum. Well, what else is in that spectrum? I have here a model which shows us. Here we have light in the center. This is frequency going along here, number of oscillations per second. As we go up in frequency, we get ultraviolet. Well, that's what makes us go brown, or in my case, red in the sun. And if I go up further in frequency, we see x-rays. Very high frequency, very short pulses, can see things within the body. Still further, we have cosmic rays and gamma rays. If I go down in frequency, we have infrared, which actually we know as heat, and radio waves. They're also television waves, waves from mobile phones. They're all part of the same spectrum. They're all the same waves. They all travel at the same speed. And that speed is the speed of light. And that speed's very special. I'll tell you a bit about that in a moment. But first of all, we're going to have a go at measuring the speed of light. And I need a volunteer to help me. Could you come up, please? And your name is? Helen. Helen. Could you come and stand here, Helen, while they bring on the speed of light measuring equipment? Stand out of the way. Helen, just come round this side. Because, Helen, you're going to be data collector. And this is the data we need. We need the wavelength and the frequency of the light. Because we need to multiply these two together. Are you good at multiplying, Helen? Not too bad. Not too bad, OK. Always got the calculator here. That will give the speed, OK? So let's start measuring the wavelength. What do we need to measure the wavelength of light? A microwave and a dish of marshmallows. And here they are, arranged in a line. And we're going to bung them in the microwave and cook them. OK, so let's just close the door. Now don't try this at home. Now, what's going to happen to these marshmallows? Well, they're going to cook. But they're actually not going to cook evenly. Microwave ovens, particularly if you've turned off the rotating table, don't cook evenly. And what happens is, if you remember back to the wave machine, when there was a wall and we sent a wave against the wall, we set up a standing wave, a wave that didn't move anywhere. It just stood still. Well, that's our key for measuring the wavelength. Because in the points where the wave is actually moving up and down a lot, there has a lot of energy there. And so there, the marshmallows should actually melt first. So let's have a look, Helen. Let's take out these marshmallows. And yes, we have a look at them. You see, some of them have melted, others haven't, then they've melted. Others haven't. And there's actually a pattern. So just like on this card here, if we take this point as the point where the marshmallows have melted, and this point, it will actually give us a measure of half the wavelength. So let's do that, Helen. Let's close that door. Let's take out a tape measure. Oh, we have a ruler here. And Helen, if you'd just like to help me measure the distance, we need the separation of these two melted bits. About six. About six. OK, so that's half of the wavelength. So six centimetres. So Helen, if you could write down here 12 centimetres as the wavelength. <coughs> that's right, just write centimetres here. That's great. Now we need the frequency. Frequency is on the back. Come around and have a look with me. <laughs> Come and have a look here. It says 2450 megahertz. Now megahertz is a million hertz, a million oscillations per second. So let's write down 2450. Now we need to put a million after it. So it's six zeros. That's great. Now we need to just multiply these things to, together. Except we should really convert this into meters, because this is oscillations per second times, we'd like it to be meters. 
So let's turn 12 centimeters into 0.12 meters. And we've got to multiply these two numbers together. Well, let's put an equal sign here. And write down here six zeros, so we take care of the zeros. OK. And now, I want you, Helen, to multiply 0.12 by 2450. That gives 294. So let's put in some commas here, because I can never read these things with all those zeros. There we go. So what we've got is 294 million meters per second. And here we have the number that physicists use for the speed of light. And it is 300 million meters per second. So you've measured the speed of light. Thank you very much, Helen.